Teresa's room. So I'm in Barcelona now. I just woke up, you might be able to tell, but I am really excited to start exploring some of Barcelona and I want you guys to come with me while I do it. But if I'm gonna be exploring Barcelona, I need my energy. So I'm gonna have some breakfast now. My food here and I'm ready to start eating because I'm starving. I can't be bothered cutting it up, so I'm gonna roll it. That's really good. Okay. So I decided I was still a little bit hungry, so I got some granola. Um, I am gonna be doing a lot of exercise today, so I need my energy, but I haven't had granola in so long, so um, I'm looking forward to having this. Breakfast. I'm feeling a lot more energized now and I'm ready to start doing some exploring. So it's a really hot day here in Barcelona. I mean, probably not as hot as Rome, but it's still really hot. Um, so we're walking outside now out in the street. Um, we have never been here before, so we're not really sure what we should do. And um, we're thinking that we're going to have to go on one of the buses because it might be easier to like get a good look at like um all the main attractions and stuff so I think we're gonna do that. We have done so much walking on this holiday that my legs are so thankful that we're um, going on a bus. This is a really good way to get around the city too so yeah I'm happy, happy that we're off here at the moment. Hopefully we'll see some nice attractions. A mocktail. I'm not sure if I should add this one. It's got passion fruit and raspberry, and then or this one. And it's got pineapple, peach, and orange. I'm not sure which one I should have. Okay, I'm getting the San Francisco one then. Okay, so I ended up changing my mind at the very last minute and I got the other drink I was going to get one with raspberry basil and passion fruit, um, but it is so refreshing. It tastes so good. I hope I don't have any basil in my teeth. Um, but yeah, I'm very happy to be having this now because the heat is starting to get to me a bit. Um, I've changed got the San Francisco drink, the one that I was going to get. Yeah, I think you like it too. Yeah, I tried some of it. We found this um, gym here just in the middle of the beach and I mean honestly guys I've been eating a little bit on this holiday so I think it's time to start doing my work now. Starting with the chin up. <laughs> okay that's all for my workout. Let's keep on going. I've just noticed that um, a lot of places in Europe have Zara's, like I don't know why it's so popular, did maybe did it come, was it like 
first like in Europe, like the stalks we have it in Australia, but I've never seen so many stalks for Zara. I mean, it's a really good stalk. <laughs> As soon as I saw this, I thought it was like some sort of like fairy tale kind of house because it does look like something you'd see in like one of those movies about fairies. Like, it looks so cool. So we just freshened up after our bus tour and now we're going to be going to Camp Now, if that's how you pronounce it, um, which is the Barcelona football stadium. Um, James is a really big fan of Barcelona, so he the one thing he really wanted to do while we were here was see the stadium. So we're gonna try and catch a ca taxi there now. So we have arrived at the Barcelona stadium now. James is so excited. He's currently in the Barcelona mega store right now looking at the merchandise. But trust me, he was very happy when we got here. Um, so right now, our tour is going to start very, very soon for the whole stadium. This store is huge. There's three levels and I think James is in heaven right now. Museum. We're looking at all of like the history and stuff, um, but this floor here shows that they have won quite a few championships. That's a lot. So it looks like this is the trophy that they won at the FIFA World Cup in 2015. Pretty cool trophy. guy today but he hasn't turned up yet. <sighs> so this is where Barcelona play their games. I'm pretty sure James would have loved to see a game being played here. So this here is the visiting team's change room and I'm not gonna lie, I kinda wanna jump in that spa right now. Okay, so we're about to do a virtual experience and I think it's like getting like a view of like the stadium and like learning a little bit about like Barcelona and the team and everything, so I'm really excited to do it. So this here is where the 
commentator seat and obviously commentate on the game. Um, so I'm sitting in one of the chairs now. It's really cool. They like swim. I might be here for hours just doing this. Stuff. the Barcelona Stadium. Um, we're back at the mega store um, and James having a little bit of a shopping spree. I now I know what it feels like when I go shopping and he has to follow me around because he's a bit of a shopper now. Okay so we are currently on the hunt for churros because guys I I love churros, like I always have them when we go to Disneyland, like churros are the best thing in the world. So now what I'm going to be doing is trying to find a place around here. I heard that there's a really good one, so we're probably going to look there and see if they've got some nice stuff. So this place looks like they have a lot of different like flavors for the churros, like in toppings, like they've got chocolate, Nutella, ice cream, you name it. But I'm very basic, I just like some plain cinnamon and sugar and guys you understand how happy I am I finally got to have some churros on this trip. Yum. Okay, so now it's time to have a little bit of a browse around some of the shops on this street. a lot more if they actually had a slide and I do have to admit that um, I probably would <laughs> Sagrada Familia and it is one of the biggest churches I think I've ever seen. It is so big. Um, they started building in 1882. That was a really long time ago. Um, apparently they had lots of issues and stuff. But they say that it's going to be finished in 2026. So a few years away but yeah we're going to have a look inside now. Look at the detail in the walls, that is amazing. Okay, wow, that is really impressive. Like, that is amazing. The, wall, the, the ceiling and everything looks so cool.
this is so amazing like I can't believe how detailed it is so that was amazing to see I'm really glad that we went and hopefully I can come back in 2026 so I can see when it's fully done because I'm sure that will be amazing to see um, so it is still really really hot outside so James and I are hoping to go into a pool to cool off so we're on the rooftop of our hotel that we're staying at um, the view is really nice in Barcelona seems so big the city from um, up here but um, we decided to come up here so we could have a little snack and a drink just to cool off and also go in the pool get in the pool because it is really hot um we also got some dessert so jane's got some oh jane's got some vanilla ice cream with some toppings and i got a um nutella and ferrero shirt ice cream wafer sandwich I did not expect it to be this big. This thing is huge, but it looks delicious, so let's try it. Oh no, it's breaking. <laughs> Very nice. Don't worry, James, you can have some. Oh, hi there. So I made it into the pool. It's really nice and refreshing in here. Um, Especially with the hot weather and everything, I feel very nice and relaxed in here. It's actually quite shallow. This is like I can, if I'm standing like that, that's what it looks like. But James and I are having a bit of fun now, swimming in the pool, so we're gonna go for a bit of a swim. We just freshened up um, after having a swim in the pool. Um, I'm feeling a lot better now. Um, it started to cool down a bit, so it's like a really nice temperature at the moment. It's not too hot, not too cold. Anyway, it is like nine o'clock at the moment, and it's pretty late to have dinner, so we're struggling to find somewhere to eat. So we're just gonna keep on walking up and down the main street, and hopefully we'll find somewhere nice. Okay, so we found my way to eat. The food looks really nice so far from what I can see. Um, I'm actually still really hot, so I'm expanding myself with my menu currently. But I'm feeling a little bit like meat to me. So maybe I might get something that's meat. Okay, so my food came. I got some beef sirloin potatoes. I love potatoes. Um, but a really popular thing here in Spain um, is tapas, which is like this, basically like small food to like share. So we all got some to share. We have some chicken fingers and calamari, and this calamari is oh, and some potatoes, and this calamari is really good. So as you can probably tell, we did really well with our food. Um, we demolished everything. My meat was so good. Um, so I definitely think we'll be coming back here um, because I really enjoyed my food. Now, the question is, will I be able to fit dessert in? Okay, so I decided that I'm not gonna have dessert. I probably had too many sweet things today, so I'm gonna leave dessert for today, but I'll make up for it tomorrow. Um, well, I mean, I've done so much stuff today. It is so late right now, and I can't wait to go straight to bed as soon as I get back to my hotel. So I hope you guys enjoyed this Barcelona vlog, um, and I guess I'll see you guys next time on Grace's Room. Bye for now.